it has been many long, hard, agonizing battles for the last few years, and you fought like a warrior every step of the way. Addiction, however, won the war. To the person who doesn't understand addiction, she is just another statistic who chose to make a bad decision. Despite working nearly two decades as an addiction scientist, I cannot read Kelsey Grace Endicott's mother's eulogy without crying. The opioid epidemic has turned those who lost their lives to addiction into statistics, while leaving their families in sorrow. Overdose deaths in the U.S. have tripled since 2000, with 52,404 deaths in 2015 as the highest ever recorded. While the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has yet to release official statistics for 2016, early estimates put the number of deaths at as many as 65,000. In a speech on October 26, President Trump declared the opioid epidemic a national emergency. Nearly a decade into this epidemic, this national emergency was declared at least eight years too late. Policymakers have missed opportunities to implement strategies scientifically demonstrated to reduce overdose deaths and help people recover.